The only exception being sophomore Hayden Duffield filling in behind the plate, and we are underway. First pitch swinging. Thomason, that's Jace Felker, and there's one out. That was quick. It's a uh... starting lineup. In foul ground, James McCoy makes the grab for out number two. And here Bellerman series over the weekend. Inside out swinging, and there's Kendall Yule. And a good inning for Kentucky. For five, swinging the ball well, batting. Excellent piece of hitting past the diving Logan Thomas, and then he takes the turn as the Colonels were a little bit late coming up with a baseball. Assuming that Gray was just going to ease up on that single. That hit him. A wide open stance. What? Takes ball four and he loads him up. Going out all weekend. 0 2. That'll score a run. Sullivan broke in, but now drifting. And Petre gets the job done. The Wildcats take a 1 0 lead on the sacrifice. 80s, right where you want them. No, he did Ooh. not. Ruben Schertz still alive, kind of nonchalantly at the plate. Kind of is. But Yates blows it by him. And off the end of the bat, right at Grant Smith. And there's one out. So we mentioned, started 31 games last year before he went down with a, an injury late, and he goes down strike. For him, but he made the most of his last start. Hard hit, but there's Grant Smith. Easy throw and an easy inning for the Wildcats once again. Runs per inning over the last five, six games or so. Kendall really excited to play his team. No hard feelings, he yep. said. And he draws the fourth pitch transfer from Incarnate Word. And the Colonels get another, take another mistake. Wildcats take another free base. Big hole on the right side, and Smith takes advantage. They send Yule. He scores easily. It's a 2-0 game, and that's a good piece of hitting. That was phenomenal. That was well drawn. Got that big uh, overhand motion, but he walks during this 14-game winning streak. So Felker swinging away. Should be an easy play for Franklin. Runners tag. Forced to throw. Nothing doing. Two out. Runners on the move, and Burks drives it into the alley, but playable. Franklin once again, and once again, the Wildcats score a run, but leave them on. Country taking on EKU. Oh. And Roderick Chris wears one with one pitch, finds his way on. Hard hit ball right at Yule. First base hit of the day for EKU, and now they're at first and second with nobody out. Nine games. Got the edge. Great pitch. One out. That's a smash and can't get it. Waldschmidt making the dive. He made a similar catch over the weekend, but couldn't get it this time. And the double puts EKU on the board. It's two to one. And a great opportunity here for the Colonels. More directed with his face towards the ball. Soft liner, and that's Grant Smith. Two out. Hard hit. Pass Grant Smith. He's got a big game going tonight. A two-run single, and EKU leads it three to two. Playable for Jackson Gray, and that'll do it. But EKU hangs a crooked number. Colonels put up three. They lead it 3-2 on the SEC Network. 25 for the SEC. Inside out off the fists on the run. Franklin, but it's going to be Rod Chris making the grab from right field. And Burks down in the count. Strikeout number one. Three balls, no strikes. It's a four-pitch walk with two out. And we got two outs. They see this as there's a run on base. Hard hit past the diving Peralta. Running on contract, Petre easily makes it to third. And the Wildcats have him at the corners with. Throws him. 89 miles an hour, a three pitch strikeout, second of the inning. 
offense. It's That's hit hard in the alley. Yule going back. Gray can't get it. That's off the wall. Gray with a diving attempt, and that's going to be a triple as Franklin slides in with a leadoff three bagger. Got him. It would buy him 90 miles an hour, one out. Tight fastball. That's exactly what he threw. Three pitches, three strikes. There are two out. Ball's been working. There it is. Three strikeout. Smash into the alley. That's a base hit. For the first time this season, Jace's average. Runner goes high and deep. Back goes Sullivan. Go back. Look up. That's out. The big blue bomb for Devin Burks. And the Wildcats lead again by a score of four to three. Kentucky not known this year for their power, but kids, yeah. Betray just sticks to bat out, but Thomason covers a lot of ground and makes the grab. One out. Chip season. But issues the walk to Walchmidt. The Wildcats with another runner on base. He has stolen six times. Runner goes. Oh, nice. In the alley, that may get down, and it does. That gets to the wall. Waldschmidt scoring easily, and it's an RBI double for the pinch hitter, Chase Stanky. Boy, he does his job. Big strikeout for the Colonels. 93, great velocity. On first teamer last year. Smashed. But a good pickup by Thomason, and he throws out Yule Butt. Got the edge, froze him. Yep. Froze him with an off speed pitch. Easy watch list, catcher of the year. There's another strikeout. Austin Strickland strikes. They're working hard. Off speed. Grant Smith all over it. Leadoff man reaches as the Wildcats look for insurance. This no. time. Well, there he goes. And that's ball four. So Put he in was, the effort. He was on. Yeah, he was on the move. Yeah, and you can't do that. <laughs> Felker gets it down. Oh. And the Colonels can't make the play. Peralta. Rio, and they turn him loose. Sullivan on the run, runner tags. Diving in is Grant Smith. And the Wildcats with some insurance. They make it 6-3, interesting. And now he's walked Petre and the bases are loaded. Oh, Community College, back to the curveball, And it worked. That's cool. 3 2 pitch. That's an RBI, and Stanky pumps his fist. His first multi RBI game as a Kentucky Wildcat. Scamper off now. Now Peralta's creeping in. Smashed into center field. That's a base hit. Two runs batted in for James McCoy. And the Wildcats have broken this thing open thanks to the solid knock by the former choreographer. And that is hammered high and deep in the alley, but it's hanging up, and D.J. Sullivan makes the grab. But what, a, what an inning pitch last time that chance to let guys pick up that experience. Hit hard. Left field. Waldschmidt tracking. And there's one out, so Bell gets a good rip here. At it goes crazy. Indeed, they run it in, and how about that? Colby Frieda covering third. For some more playing time. Up the middle, Smith to McCoy. 
And the double play ends it for the Wildcats. 15 straight for Kentucky, a 